All right, if you guys don't have a valve spring compressor, I just figured out a way to get the valves out, the keepers and the retainers, with regular garage tools. This is a magnet tip, magnet pin. Uh, need a half inch drive socket. This is a 1316, it's actually pretty basic. And a huge wrench. I don't know how many people actually have these, but something that's big that'll give you leverage to press down on top of the socket. Uh, this particular head is out of an RB25. It's a Series 1 engine. So this is basically towards anybody who has two JZs, one Js, and line six import engines. All right, let me demonstrate. Make sure the magnet pin goes all the way through and actually get it to where it's going to be on top of the valve so it'll have contact with the keepers and you put whatever object you have on top of the socket and you push down it might take a couple tries but you'll you'll feel it There it is. There's one keeper. And for the last one, it takes two tries to get it done, but you'll feel it after the second time. It'll pop out. There it is. And you use needle nose pliers and you get it out. There's another. And there's the spring. I haven't devised a way to get them back in yet, but when I do, I will make another video and let you guys know.